Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out how to create a group product in Magento. So basically, a group product consists of simple standalone products that are presented as a group. You can offer variations of a single product or group them by season or theme. A group product provides an easy way to offer variations of a product and list them all on the same page. Although they are presented as a group, each product in the group is purchased as a separate item. In the shopping cart, each item and its quantity purchased appears as a separate line item. So let's get ahead and let's see how this particular group product in Magento can be created from the admin backend panel. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial there, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So to create the group product, what I'll do is I'll go to the admin backend panel and I'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering the username password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. After successfully logging into the admin backend panel, what I'll do is I'll go to the uh, uh, catalog section and then products. Here I've already created, for example, I'm creating a group product for a, a t-shirt that I'm providing with two different colors that is red and green. So what I've done is I've created two products, two simple products that is red t-shirt and green t-shirt. Now we'll be creating a group product and within that group product we'll be adding two simple products that is red t-shirt and the green t-shirt. So the red t-shirt and the green t-shirt are the variations of the simple product there of the group product itself. So to create a group product what you need to do is you need to tap here and choose group product. This will bring up the new product page and on the new product page we need to enter the few details of the group product itself. So what I'll do is I'll be entering the details here. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to enable the product that is by default enabled. Then we need to choose the attribute set for this particular uh, product that we are going to create. Then we need to give the name uh, to the product. So we'll set it as group t-shirt product. Uh, the quantity doesn't need to be set up because the quantity would be used from the simple products that we are adding within the group itself. Then we'll set the stock status as in stock. We'll choose the category for the group product. I'll choose it as watches for the time being uh, because I'm here on the watches category as you can see and I've added few products in it. Uh, then we'll choose the visibility as catalog and search. You can set the country of manufacturer as well. And if you want to set the product as new from and two values can be set up for that. Then I'll upload an image for the group uh, product that I'm going to create for the main product itself. So I'll choose a black t-shirt color there. So let me upload that up. Uh, we can do the rest of the configurations as well. But uh, to create the group products, we need to come to this particular section that says group products. And as you can see, a group product is made up of simple, uh, multiple uh, standalone products that are presented as a group. And you can offer variations of a single product or group them by season or theme to create a coordinated set. Each product can be purchased separately or as part of the group there. So to add the products to the group, we'll tap here on the add products to group button. That will bring up this particular section to add the products to the group and this would display the complete list of products that we have in our catalog. So I will be choosing the red t-shirt and the green t-shirt and I will be tapping here on the add selected products there. After adding these two variations of the uh, main product there, that's the red t-shirt and the green t-shirt and as you can see we have set it as the name as group t-shirt product and the t-shirt product has two variations, one is the red t-shirt and the green t-shirt. So here you can see uh, the uh, status is enabled, the SKU for the same is visible here, the price of both of the simple standalone products is uh, for the red one is $123 and for the green t-shirt it's $321 there and the position is 0 and 1 for uh, the red and the green colors, you can remove them as well if you want. And if you want to add more products, you can tap here on the add products to group as well once again. 
and after adding these two products you can also set the default quantity that uh, would be visible on the product page itself that needs to be purchased by the customer and uh, you can leave this as empty as well uh, so that the customers can enter the quantity that they want to purchase by their own selves and after that you need to tap here on the save button to save the group product as soon as the group product has been saved you can see that the group product has been saved now we, if we scroll down you can see that the quantity is showing as zero because the quantity would be taken up from the quantity of these two simple standalone products itself now if I go to the store front end and I refresh the page here we'll be able to see this uh, group t-shirt product on the store front there so let the page refresh itself so here we are having the group t-shirt product and you can see that the price is starting at $123 and there's a range there the basic price the basic or the minimum price of the product is $123 and it can uh, go further up as well so this is how the group uh, product gets visible to the customers on the storefront on the product page itself here's the group t-shirt product that we had created uh, group t-shirt product that we created with two uh, standalone uh, simple products that is red t-shirt and green t-shirt and here we are having the product name as red t-shirt and green t-shirt red is for $123 and the green is for $321 and from here we can set up the quantity that we want to purchase of this uh, group product so for example I want to purchase the red one I can enter the quantity here I can tap here on the add button to add the particular quantity into the cart there and the particular simple product would be added from this group into the cart there itself similarly if i want to uh, purchase uh, one quantity of the green one i can enter the quantity here i can tap here on the add button so i'll be purchasing from the group product i'll be purchasing one red t-shirt and one green t-shirt there so both of them have been added into the cart as simple standalone uh, products here and in the shopping cart each item and the quantity purchased appears as a separate line as you can see both have different uh, sections here two section sections have been created even if I tap here on the view and edit cart the same is visible here in the cart as well red t-shirt price quantity subtotal green t-shirt price quantity and subtotal now thereafter the customer can tap here on the proceed to checkout button to proceed further and to place the order for the group product and depending upon his requirement he can add the products that he wants to add from the group into the cart to make a checkout thereafter so yes that was much about the uh, how basically uh, uh, the admin of the magento 2 web store would be able to create a group product in magento 2 and I've, I've, as I've already told you, a group product consists of simple standalone products that are presented as a group. You can offer variations of a single product or group them by season or theme as well. A group product provides an easy way to offer variations of a product and list them all on the same page. Although they are presented as a group, each product in the group is purchased as a separate item and in the shopping cart, each item and its quantity purchased appears as a separate line item there so if you still have any questions or you have any queries doubts or requirements you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you can raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead